I'm here to talk about working with photos and images in Word. I apologize for the sound quality. Uh, you should be able to decipher this if I talk slowly. Uh, working in Word to retouch a photo is not the best thing. I would strongly recommend working in Photoshop, Photoshop Elements. I'm going to show you a few basic things here. I have this rose here. Some of the things do work pretty good. I click on the picture, I click on Format, and if I want to remove the background, which is, I just want the rose here, I can go over here, just drag it to the shape here so it works, uh, or show, I should say shows the entire rose. The, what you see purple is what will be deleted. And I go over here, pull that over like that, and it looks pretty good here. I say keep changes. You can see it. The edges are a little bit rough. It's not really professional. For a little brochure, something you're doing, that is perfectly fine. Uh, I'm going to hit the undo. And I have it back there. There's other things you can do here. You have the corrections here. Where you can make it brighter here. You get the live preview here. Um, there are a few more features that I believe were added in 2010 over the 2007. And I go into the color here. I can do this color. And I can change the colors here. You get the live preview here. You can get some interesting effects depending on what the photo or whatever it is. And then you can go into artistic effects. You can go here, make it look like glow edges, um, photocopy, other things here. So you can have a little bit of fun retouching a photo briefly here. Uh, you can also, if you change things here, you can reset it if you've altered it too much. You can go over here. You can change the picture literally, but have all the effects that were on it. This here allows you to compress the picture. That way, if you crop it or whatever, it reduces the memory here. It could affect the resolution. Uh, I'm going to go into the next photo here. This is a little bit trickier here. I have this image here. <clears throat> if I want to crop it, and again, I'm on the format tool here the crop which you all know and you just get that little T sideways T there and allows you to crop the photo so I could go over there do other things whatever click on the crop so I've got this picture here I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so I can work on this and show you a few things here I want to get rid of the background but just keep the two flowers here I click on remove background this gets trickier when we're in here, we have it pre-cropped, okay? I don't know why Microsoft does this. I go over here, get that in here. But what I want to do, you can see how this entire purple flower has been lost. So what I have to do is say, mark areas to keep. And I go in here, and I can drag the mouse through it. Um, it kind of looks at the edges that are in there. If you have a picture with a lot of detail or a lot of subtle color changes, it could be problematic. And what it did here, it has this orange stuff over here, which I don't want. Now I've got to mark areas to remove, and I can just drag through here. And now I put the other, took out the other leaf here. I think you know what I'm saying. I'm doing this very quickly. Um, it takes a lot of trial and error. Um, going into there, you get these little tick marks there. And I got other things showing up in there that I don't want. And I'm just going to zoom this up um, in here. And I need to get rid of that little area there. This is going to be a bear. With Photoshop, you could just erase. This is not Photoshop. I can't say enough about this, okay? And I go in there. Now it puts that back there. Then I got to say areas to keep. Uh, I want to go in there. I want to delete that there. As I said, I'm not going to spend 20 minutes on this video showing you. I'm just going to enlarge this even more. Scroll down. I just want to keep that little thing in there. It's a paint in the rear end. Uh, and then if I want to keep that little thing in there, like if I want to keep that stem there, click in there. 
and let's just pretend that I've done a terrific job here. If I go here, pull the crop, I want that whole flower there. It's just showing it in there. If I say keep changes, this is what I've ended up with. As I said, we got some things here. I cannot erase that. The edges are a little bit rough because I've really enlarged it. I need to get that stem back in there. What I could do, if I go to the crop again, go up there, finish the crop, shrink this down a little bit, and if I'm doing something for a document that's a little big, I can always make it a little smaller. It's pretty good now, actually. So you could go in there and put your story about your rose garden. Keep experimenting with this thing here, with the remove background. And of course, I think you know how to put borders on things. You go to a border here, you could change the color of it. I could make it this. It gives you the live preview. I go there. I go into picture effects, reflection. Gives you other things there. It gets out of control with this soft edges. Um, just showing you these little things here. Pick, don't use that. That puts things into smart art, which you're not going to use at all.